We are back now with more of our countdown to Pyeongchang 2018, just a year away. And when you talk about Olympic snowboarding, one name will always come to mind, two-time gold medalist, Sean, Sean White. White. Yeah, he's always it. pushed the limits <laughs> of what a snowboarder can do over and over and over again. He's even invented a few tricks in his time, and they have become the sport's gold standard. Sean, good yeah. morning. Hey, Sean. Good morning, guys. Thank you. 30 years old now. 30 You'll now, be yeah. 31 in 31. Pyeongchang. Yep. What how hard a decision was it for you to say I'm going back? Not very hard. I mean, obviously not performing uh, the way I'd like to in Sochi really inspired me and I got, you know, refocused, uh, recalibrated and I'm, I'm back at it. It's we, great. We should say recently you did some good work. You, you uh, I did. Yeah, you came out on top. Have I you, won the last event, the World Cup, so. That's got to feel yeah. really good. So <laughs> have you, you're obviously in shape. Did you have mm -hmm. to, did you have to go back to getting in shape or, or have you maintained it over time? I mean, I'm, I'm always active. Yeah. I'm, I live in LA, I surf, I skate, I snowboard all the time, so I'm, I'm, I'm physically fit from that but to be honest I really dove deeper into it I got a trainer a full-time physical therapist someone to like keep me uh, in shape so it's really helping we've had the, the pleasure of knowing you for a long time since yes. you seem like you were a little kid and, and I've always thought you were a contradiction because on the outside <laughs> as my kids would say he's very chill yeah. he's yeah. very easy going uh -huh. but I've seen you at times and interviewed you at times where that oh, fierce yeah competitor comes out. You just mentioned Sochi. Sochi. How yeah. much of this is, is you saying, I'm not going to end my Olympic career on what happened there? Oh man, a lot of, I was just in the lobby and I was getting interviewed um, and they asked, so you know, when, when did you get over Sochi? <laughs> I'm like, I didn't. You don't. You know, to be honest, it's like falling off a bike and you have the, the little scar from it. Yeah. And it's, it's a part of you. It's it's something to learn from. And I'm definitely learning and I'm, I'm back. So. Some of your moves have become the gold standard, as we say. Uh, do you have anything new that you are cooking up in your brain that you might show us <laughs> a, in Korea? Plenty of things. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually heading there for a test event um, in the next couple of days to compete. But uh, yeah, a lot of new tricks. I don't want to spill the beans just yet, but um, a lot of new stuff that's coming. And, and I'm, I'm feeling stronger than ever, more focused, and uh, yeah, it should be a great one. There's a lot of experimenting and innovating that goes on as we're talking about yeah. your line of the work. And we were just talking, how do you, how do you handle a run mm -hmm. right after a run where you have crashed horribly? How do you get back <laughs> yeah, on the board? Question, yeah. In the heat of the moment, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm probably very angry. You know, I'm very upset of, with my performance because I probably knew what to do. And I, I, you know, if I could turn back time, I would do it differently the correct way. But, uh, you know, you're so in the heat of the moment, you just get back up there and do it again without thinking. Mm -hmm. Thinking's usually the thing that gets it's in the way. Yeah. It gets in yeah. the way. Unfortunately, as you get older, too, you think more. So I'm trying it, to... It, is there someone, Sean, that you're looking at saying, I've got to make sure that I'm better than that guy? Who is that um, guy? You know, like, like what was mentioned earlier, it's yeah. usually yourself. Yeah. It's your, you're your own enemy at times. But... Um, I don't know. The last competition is a really amazing snowboarder named Ayumu, uh, Japanese snowboarder. Uh, iPod Yuri, who won the last Olympics. Really great guy, friend of mine. Um, but you know, we go from event to event, and uh, you learn from it, and you mm -hmm. keep going. So. And, and speaking of events, you've come up with your own event. You call Big Air and Style, or is it air Big and Hair? Style. Oh, are there <laughs> Hair and it Style? It was Big Hair, hair and, style, and Style, but it's Air and Style, yeah. And you want that to become <laughs> kind of a qualifier? Well, it's amazing. It's a, a sports and music festival that I own that I, I'm putting on in Los Angeles. Angeles this February 18th and 19th at the Coliseum in downtown LA and it's truly like a Coachella meets X Games type event but um, yeah it's it's now amazing because it's an Olympic discipline so they have half pipe which I've competed talking in. talking about skateboarding here yeah. right yeah well no now slope style which oh, is a really? series of jumps and now big air is going to be featured in 2018 in, in Korea so our event is actually big air which big could be I thought air. you were talking about skateboarding in Tokyo no, no, coming that's, up that's, as well. Wow. well we'll talk later about that <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sean White. We love Sean, you, honey. Great hey, to have thanks you. Thanks for coming to see thanks us. Thanks for having me. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.